Yeah, it's your boy Fist in his house. Of Modern Warfare 3 from me to you, because that's what I like to do. AK 47 Silence Blue Camo Extended Mags AK 47. Last video in the series of the AK. Trying to spread my knowledge. One of the only gamers out there that is still playing every single day, Modern Warfare 3, to me to you, because that's what I like to do. I actually love Modern Warfare 3. I mean, I play it every single day. I play it I, because I love the game. I don't, I don't know where all the hate comes from. It's a huge improvement from Modern Warfare 2. No one-man army, no explosive grenades. No explosives compared to every other Call of Duty. You don't have to waste a perk on it like Full Metal Jack from Black Ops. I mean, this game, I mean, it's shortened maps comparative to Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2. It's a huge improvement. It's a lot of gun on gun. Map packs every month. I really enjoy this game. I enjoy Infinity War game because it cater to everybody. And that's what I like, you know. I don't like... I, I just like having a good time with the game. So the AK-47, we went over Thermal and, and ACOG, and I think I did Red Dot way back then. Extended mags without anything. The silenced AK-47, now, here's the thing. You can run it with kick, you can run it without kick. It's really up to you. I, yeah, I would do uh, silence with extended mags. To me, kick without kick, it doesn't matter, because I use the AK so much that I'm used to its uh, shooting pattern and that's you know that's a preference if you're going to play it, I mean if you have this love for the way the texture and when I say texture of a weapon the way it sounds the way it feels see sometimes people they gravitate towards the way the we weapon shoots you know and the way it sounds and that's how I am like if I like when I first picked up the FAMAS in Modern Warfare 2 I was like I hated the way it sounded. It sounded like somebody taking like a bunch of washers and bolts and taking it in a bag and just jingling it every time you shot it. So I was like, it turned me off. I didn't like it. Then when I shoot the AK, it's like da 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 da. You get that, you get that feeling, and you're like, yeah. You, you like you, you can uh, um, you know, you can uh, you can gravitate towards that weapon and visualize yourself with it. You know, you have some relationship with it. So that's you know that's the thing you know in the game. Yeah. That's what I like about these weapons. So, you really have to like a weapon. It has to fit your personality to use it correctly. Because if you don't really like the way it sounds or the way it feels or the way it shoots, you're probably not going to use it. So, like, if you're new to the Call of Duty series, like, find that weapon that you like. Obviously, some weapons are extremely easier to use than others, and that's just the way it is sometimes. I mean, the way their testing is, I don't really understand it, but that's for another video. <laughs> I'm not even going to worry about that. But you can see how the silence, like if you've never used Call of Duty games or whatnot, you can see how the silencer is effective here. I moved up in my position. Now that guy is going back to the last position. Now if I didn't have a silencer on there, you'd obviously knew where I was at, made a mistake, and came back. Never turn your back on somebody when you're shooting them. Just go forward. Forget it. If you're gonna die, you know it's better than turning your back and dying. So that's a mistake for me to you that you can learn right there on that spot. But overall, the AK with a silencer, it's it's not bad. I mean, I would say that you're not going to win these battles. I'll tell you, you're not gonna win short, uh, short to probably medium, short medium medium range because the rate of fire on the AK-47. And when you put a silencer on it, it's subsonic, it slows it down even more. So if you come up against somebody with a, a pistol, uh, you know, a sniper rifle, shotgun, SMG, all of those things and above, literally you have to, like, if you get in a close quarter combat with a silencer, you have to drop shot. Now, what's great about it, I mean, you know, you can flank a lot, and you, get the, you still get the damage on long range. I mean, it might take a little bit longer, and you reset a little bit better on the head shot. So, it's more or less, it's one of those weapons that you know you have to be used to, you know, used to using, and then you're familiar with it, and you can identify, and that translates 
you know, as a specialty weapon, I would say probably an advanced weapon in the Modern Warfare 3 series with the silencer added on it and being proficient. So, you know, grading it for a newbie, it's not probably the best thing. If you're going to do, if, you are, if, you're, if you're a newbie and you're starting out with this weapon, I suggest putting a red dot kick on it learn about the, the familiarity of it then move off a kick move off the red dot go to extended mags and then you know whatever else you want to do with the combination and then you'll start to feel yourself through it so i hope you enjoyed that little insight and please leave your top five below no stupid weapons like the dragon off we all know that's the worst weapon in the game i'm not gonna you know, let's talk about stuff that's going to work to your advantage, and I'll cycle through attachments, proficiency, uh, kill streaks, and so on and so forth. Till next time, it's your boy Fist. Peace, and I'm out.